G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we are going to be installing Ubuntu 1904 using the alongside Windows method during install, which will give us a dual boot option at boot startup. Okay, so here we are in the live, live environment of uh, Ubuntu 1904 and we're going to be installing alongside Windows 10. So let's get started on that one. Install third party again. Install third party, which installs your codecs and graphics drivers and so forth. NVIDIA graphics drivers. Okay, so what we've got here is, um, and you will quite often see that um, if there's another um, Linux distro on the computer, it will give you the same option to install Ubuntu alongside Ubuntu or whatever you've got installed. Um, so in this case, install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to install now. Australia Perth and we'll do the usual here and continue that's the installation of Ubuntu 1904 complete we shall look restart and have a look at the um, the boot menu and see what we have available so we shall start up the computer and see what we have available on startup. And there we have, as you can see, um, I'll just zoom out a bit. I'm not actually zoomed in, so we'll have a look there. And we have Ubuntu, Windows Boot Manager, System Setup. So there we have it there. So let's just um, check out Windows Boot first. And there we have uh, the Windows startup screen. So what we shall do now is click on that and do a restart. And we have Ubuntu, we'll boot that, and there we have an Ubuntu and Windows 10 dual boot. Just for those people who have those applications within Windows that they just can't give up, which um, a lot of people have that situation. And there's the Ubuntu sign in, and we sign in. And there's our Ubuntu dual boot with Windows 10 installing alongside Windows 10. So that was installing Ubuntu 1904 alongside of Windows 10. Um, not my preferred option, as I believe that installing to a separate data partition is better because then you create your own um, boot EFI boot partition and uh, that is separate from Windows 10, so it's not sharing the boot with Windows 10. I've been doing that with a HP for maybe 12 months, 18 months, I think, for, for quite a while anyway. I've updated Windows 10 on that, never had any issues. So that will be my next video on how to do that. So, but that's, this one uh, installing alongside is an easier option if you're not sure how to do the uh, separate data partition. And can still work, but I think Windows gets up to some shenanigans when it comes to the booting of Ubuntu. So you just need to be aware of that and keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thank you for watching.